Hi, hey, Gemini. It's Angela. How are we doing? We're going to do a quick um, August overview for you, just a uh, topic that you can maybe focus on or tap into or stay um, receptive to for the month of August. Um, these are soul guidance readings. They're not predictive. They're not um, external, externally related as much as they are your inner being and what you can focus on and align with within to make transformation and progress in your external world. Okay, so we've got an oracle card pulled from the Wild Mystic deck. This is a great deck. It's based on um, every card has an animal interpretation. And for you, Gemini, I got the elephant, which is memory. This is kind of saying, um, you know, there's a couple levels to this. This could either be utilizing your past experiences, whether they be positive or traumatic or, you know, past life regression, if you, if you ascribe to past life work, um, it could mean a di many different things for you. It could also mean your ancestral ties and um, trusting that, that, um, that lineage, you know, the, the, those who came before you are guiding you now. It could just mean, like I said, memory from your own, this life experience, memories from your past that shaped who you are today, and maybe just staying aware and attuned to that, and maybe even helping you to shift your perspective about it. Um, this is not for the very, very deep trauma work. That's for an expert. But as far as your soul's understanding of it, we might be able to shed some light here. Okay, so, and the elephant, we know the elephant never forgets, right? We've heard that, but also what I learned by reading up on this in this um, deck is that the elephant is one of the only other species on the planet that actually hold funerals for their deceased loved ones. They'll throw like sticks and leaves and, and stand over the body for days in, in sort of like a ritualistic way to honor those who have passed on. So I thought that was really interesting too. Beautiful. Um, the animal world has a lot to teach us, right? Okay, so let's go on to your reading, Gemini, and see what the guidance is here as it pertains to your memory. And I think the first few cards might give us a more defined um, interpretation of how we want to see this memory card today. All right, so the first card is isolation, feeling cut off feeling um, um, severed, maybe from your past, maybe um, from others in your present. But I'm getting, for, for some of you, and I, I just had to take a deep breath because I'm getting that there's a sense of not wanting to incorporate those memories, possibly because they're too painful. So I shield myself from all of it right? And what is that? That keeps you in this sort of deep freeze vibration. Um, this is also a mental card. So your thoughts about it, your thoughts about what's in your memory could be holding you kind of hostage. And if you notice this figure, the ice will begin to melt because he's showing his emotion. He's crying and the tears will melt the ice eventually. So it's a shift from how you think about your past experiences, shifting into feeling it and going ahead. The feelings are not going to harm you and the memories can't really harm you in this moment. So there's an opportunity here to open it up a little bit, to soften those harder iced in edges and, and allow for what is to be there, even if it's painful from your past. Um, internally, the card that supports this melting of the ice and, and um, embodying the presence more and allowing the memories to be present is guidance. So this is your own being kind of saying, I can do this. I can trust it. Um, I can move at the pace I want to. And I can, you know, travel the distance that I want to as it pertains to drumming up some of this old um old information 
I don't have to bring it up all at once. I can, you know, this is up to you how to proceed. But it is important to begin to sort of melt those frozen aspects, melt those um, barriers that are cutting you off from the, the fullness of your life. Because as much as we all go through trauma and some of us go through more horrific trauma than others, I, I'm fully acknowledging that. But at the soul level, the acknowledgement of it and the receptiveness of it and allowing it to be part of your whole experience now at the soul level, that's crucial to be able to resolve some of this stuff going forward. And like I said, you can determine that pace, the volume of it, you know, how much you want to take in at once, how much you want to release. Um, it, you can control that, but I feel that the guidance here for a lot of you is to begin, at least begin, right? It could just be one topic. It could be many. It could be one topic that lasted many years. Um, you know, it, it, there's a lot of things this could be for different people, but it doesn't go away. It stays buried in the ice as long as you stay cut off from the feelings of it. Okay. And um, acknowledging that and being willing to trust yourself and your own inner guide results in this card in your external world and more clarity. Look at that. The veil's lifting. The ice is melting, right? I'm able to see more clearly from where I stand today, right? I'm not going to let those old experiences continue to haunt me today. I can see it more clearly now. There could be, you know, some, um, you know, old experiences you're, you're becoming more clearly aware of now that maybe your perception of the experience was what really created this isolation and this, this wanting to cut off from feeling it. Maybe your perception of the experience can change, right? whatever it is, um, you know, we're all human, we all go through, you know, maybe just widening and loosening your perception on it a little bit might help with the progress. Um, you know, the memories don't really go away. So it's how are we going to process them in this moment, right? Now, the key to moving forward and the key to getting up to an elevated understanding of this is receptivity. I mean, Come on, guys. I mean, this is so perfectly clear. It's staying open. Being a channel that's wide open, especially like through this crown chakra, receiving the energy from the divine, receiving the guidance from your own inner guide, being willing to listen to what is what is proper for you in this moment as it pertains to shifting through some of this memory. What is proper for me? What is... um how much can I handle right now? Listening and allowing for the signs to come through. That's your key to getting a better um, handle on it or to getting a new perspective on the topic. And then once you once you keep your um, receptivity in check and you know wide open and and allowing for what is in this present moment to be, the ice melts and you start to rely on trust. You begin to realize, okay, yeah, I've been through some issues. I've been through some trauma or I don't know. I have a memory of, of sheer embarrassment from my past that, I don't know, let's just make something up. I remember when I, in my, deep in my past, you know, I sang in front of my class and I was so happy and joyful and I never felt better. And then some kids left and it stopped me. I never sang again right? Well, maybe in that memory, if you start to stay open and, 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 you know, widen your, your perception on the whole situation, maybe one of the kids was tickling another kid and that's why they were laughing, right? Like we, we experience something in a moment and if it causes us trauma and we have a deep emotional reaction to it, we associate you know, really strongly with, um, you know, our, like we would associate that moment of singing and being in joy as a bad thing. Right. And so then we cut ourselves off. Now 
we're in isolation from our joy or from our singing joy. So in that, that's the kind of a situation I mean. And like I said, if this is a super, super deep trauma, then there's other people to guide you for that. But it could, you could still have this soul level aspect of seeing it, right? And continue your other work. But on a, on a level, you know, you've, you went through that embarrassing moment. Maybe you had another one when you were a teenager and maybe another, you know, maybe not about singing, but about something else. Maybe now you're seeing, oh yeah, I got, I, I had moments of, of embarrassment and shame or fear or vulnerability, but I still made it like, I'm still here. And I'm, I've learned a lot from it, but I'm, I'm still here. That's where the trust comes in is the knowing that your, first of all, your inner guide will, will pretty much not fail you. If you're, if you're staying open to it, if your channels are open and you allow your inner guide to um, sort of take a front seat instead of those old triggered um, responses, you can transform. At least you can transform the way you feel about it. And then if it's, like I said, if it's deeper, you do other work, but the, the clarity, the awareness starts to come if you can um, sit with that at the soul level within you and um, backing up this energy of trust is ripeness. So in a sense, you'll know, like when we talked about melting this ice and bringing up the memories and allowing them to kind of be here and, and wash over you. And so you can transform them in, in your current state of life. You'll know, you'll know, like with this inner guidance, you know, when it's, when it's right to um, dig a little deeper, you'll know when it's time to just kind of sit with it. You'll know when it's time to maybe um, approach another, maybe those kids that were laughing at you, you can approach them. You'll know if you trust in your own inner being and the guidance from, from the divine, you'll know when to make a move. And this is an internal energy. So it's, you're the one that knows, right? It's not, there's no, you know, game plan or outline here. It's, it's all within you. And then the outcome and the, the, oh my God, I'm excited about this card. The outcome of this process of, you know, dealing with our memory, taming the feelings around them, allowing, um, what is to be here and to help us move forward and staying open, we got rebirth. I love it because now you get to start a new phase. Now you get to tra truly transform these experiences in your memory and integrate them into who you are now, right? They've never gone away, like I said, but you can bring them to a new level within you that kind of actually shores up your power. Yeah, I went through that really, um, those kids laughed at me when I was singing, and, but you know what, I'm here now. And then being able to um, align that within you so that you can incorporate that and, and release it really from the trauma, Re release your memory from the, um, from the trauma and allow it just to be there. I'm human. I went through this, right? It's okay. I'm evolved now. I'm, I'm trusting in what's to come. And I'm trusting that I can guide myself through this um, with the help of the divine. So I love it. I hope this helped some of you guys and I hope it resonated for a handful of you at least. And um, like I said, with my readings, they're kind of evergreen. So if it doesn't really resonate right now, or if you're not ready to open up these memories and do the work now, that's perfectly fine. This is your timing, your guidance, your readiness. And, um, you know, maybe bookmark the video and use the guidance later if it's not pertaining to you now. Um, so that should do it for now, I guess. Love you guys. Thank you.